Welcome back to our Christmas content advent calendar. Today, we're gonna be diving into Photoshop and we're gonna look at something a little bit more creative. So this isn't a tip that I would say is like an essential thing for editing your photos, but it's, a, it's an interesting thing that you can do in Photoshop. So if you've ever taken a portrait or any kind of photo where you've used colored gel lights, they are awesome. So maybe you've got two lights, one with like an orange gel, one with like a, a teal kind of blue gel, Oh, that looks good. Or maybe like a red gel, something like that. It's so, so awesome. But there have been so many times where I wish I'd had colored gel lights while I've been out shooting. And I don't. I don't have them with me. So we're going to go through something that you can do in Photoshop to essentially add in colored gel lights in post. Now, it's important to mention this doesn't actually work on every photo. Um, it is kind of specific, but it's um, something that's definitely worth trying. I've used it a lot in uh, in a few different photos and a few different situations. It gives a very creative feel to the type of image you're going to. So let's dive into Photoshop. I've got this photo here, which is a, a portrait we did uh, in the summer. I actually really like this photo. I actually really, really like this photo. We did it kind of spare at the moment in the woods with the light kind of dappling through the leaves onto the ground. And it just, I just think it looks really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm particularly happy with it. But let's add a little bit of color in uh, as if we had some colored gel lights. I'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that. Now, first things first, let's create a new layer down in the bottom right. So we've got a layer uh, that we're gonna be working on to create this lighting. And then let's come up to the gradient tool. So we can actually kind of paste some gradients onto our photo here. Up in the top left, let's select this little color area here so we can actually control the gradient that we're gonna apply. Uh, and let's start off, like I mentioned before, let's start off with like an orange and a teal kind of look. So let's go for quite a light orange, something like that looks pretty good. And just hit okay. And I'm just gonna drag that in from the top right. So I'm gonna left click and just drag that in. Then let's go up, back up to the color. Let's select more of a kind of a teal look to it. Let's click okay. And let's drag that in from the bottom left. Now let's apply two different gradients to the photo. The orange teal coming in from the top right. The blue teal gradient coming in from the bottom left. Now we want to apply this in a way that makes it look like a colored gel light. And the way we can do that is very simply using a blend mode. So we're going to come up here just above the layers to the blending modes. Left click to open up this menu and there's all kinds of different ones that you can choose. There's a couple of different options here. So, and it, it kind of depends on the photo. I'll often go soft light. And if you look, if I click that, that looks really awesome. It kind of just looks like we had a warm light and a cool light coming in from the, from the top and the bottom there respectively. I think that looks really good. And then of course you can play around with the opacity and the fill, but you can also try color as a blending mode. So let's come down to that now. Now color, Color works quite well. Uh, it doesn't brighten as much as the soft light does. It just really just adds the color. So that is something that is worth, you know, being aware of. It depends on the photo. If you've already got a very bright photo, then color's gonna work very well. If you need to brighten as well a little bit, I'll show you the difference. If you need to brighten as well as a little bit, then soft light works well, because it, it kind of adds a little bit of brightening as well. Now for me, for this photo, soft light's gonna work best, but again, it depends on the photo. And let's play around a little bit with the fill here. So we can we can bring that down to about 75% just to make it just to make it a little subtle. Um, and you can play around with the color. Let's let's hide that layer for now. Add a new layer. Let's imagine that you wanted to bring in some red gelled lights. Let's bring red in there. Exactly the same thing. Let's just bring a gradient on there. Let's do one from this side as well. And let's come down to soft light and bring the opacity down a little bit. Maybe even something like 50%. But what an interesting looking image. You know, I mean, even there, if you didn't know we'd done it, and it, maybe if you brought the opacity down a little bit more, kind of just richens up that forest floor. If I turn that off, 
turn it on. It's a really interesting way of editing photos. It's a really creative thing you can do. I do play around with this quite a bit, especially uh, in, in photographs like this. I think there's all kinds of different things you can do. Again, it depends on the photograph as to how well it works as a, as a thing, but it's definitely something that's worth playing around with in Photoshop. I'm all about trying out different interesting things uh, with your edits, and I think this one, if used properly and used subtly, doesn't necessarily come across as like, oh, that's really been photoshopped, that's way too much. It can come across as, as just a very nice enhancement to a, to a great photo. Now, if you've ever played around with gradients like this, or you've applied them in different ways and blended them to create these effects, pop it down in the comments, because I'd love to hear any kind of thoughts you have on that or anything you've done in the past. That's super interesting to me. If you have any questions, of course, pop them down there as well. I'll pop a full list in the description of all the kit that I used to take this photo and this video and all that kind of stuff, so you can check that out over on our website. I will, of course, see you tomorrow for more content. Ooh! Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Make sure to give this video a like as well if you thought it was interesting. And as always, thanks for watching.